Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to discuss very important question that comes to every software tester's mind. Will artificial intelligence or AI take the jobs or are your jobs at risk, especially in software testing? So before we proceed, I would like to make a disclaimer that this is very sensitive topic and these opinions that I'm sharing are my personal opinion, right? So whatever I have experienced till now, whatever is state the AI is in the current market scenario, whatever influence of AI I have seen in my current job and what I feel is possible and not possible. It is about just those opinions, right? It is not a verdict that this will happen and this will not happen or this could happen and this could not happen, right? So just a disclaimer on that, that this is a video for knowledge and what the current market scenario is and what is possible and what is not possible based on my experience and perspective. So without further delay, let's get started. Recently, there has been a lot of talk about the artificial intelligence, the platforms, for example, ChatGPT, Copilot, and a lot of new platforms coming in picture as well. Now, when the ChatGPT came into the market and it was basically a revolution overall and the capability that you will get out of ChatGPT. Now, does that mean that similar or more advanced platforms that will come in future from artificial intelligence point of view will they be able to take the jobs or will those tools or those platforms be able to replace the software testers altogether and this is not about just software testers it could be basically for other jobs as well it could be development jobs as well it could be other uh, office jobs as well right but this is more of a software testing channel so I'll talk about specifically is it possible or what or which state we are in at the current stage in terms of what sort of intelligence is there in the current platforms right now when we talk about the ai platform taking your jobs in the current market scenario whatever i have explored and whatever is available till now in the corporate right i'm very close to day in day out uh, with, with the current job and not only with the current job with the other clients as well and other companies and people I talk to other people as well who are working with other organizations as well so the current state is basically it's it's kind of very very initial stage I would say and what where we are at in terms of these AI tools replacing software testing this is basically if, if we talk about the complete replacement that is not at all possible and I don't see it happening even in the future that is not going to happen right so be assured first thing I want to make sure here is that be assured that that is not going to happen why that is not going to happen I'll cover that later in the later part of the video so stick to that now let's talk about where we are at or what value add these platforms can bring in now when we talk about all the AI platform the value add that they can bring in is basically for example we talk about chat GPT it has the intelligence basically what they do is they train the models on the a large set of data right and based on what say for example you have initial set subset of data or set of data 5000 test cases already there for particular modules right now you train the engine based on those available scenarios and test cases and then when the engine gets trained then you start getting output if you find say for example send me or uh, write the test cases for login functionality right and if there are there is a database of login functionality test cases these tools or artificial intelligence tool not only a specific tool but then uh, multiple tools have that capability they'll be able to you know fetch that because they are trained on those particular data set they'll be able to fetch and uh, give you the relative or respective answers right so it's kind of more of a advanced sort of communication that happens or with very very specific queries it goes ahead and figures out the answer and get, provides it to you now in terms of replacement why this thing cannot replace the human touch or basically the humans because artificial intelligence doesn't have that thinking capa capability and intelligence when they, when they say artificial intelligence it's not that intelligent that it can basically go ahead and think about the holistic sort of picture okay or think in a way that 
a particular human being will think about a particular scenario edge case etc right so it it is a it it is something it is a platform which is trained on some things the things that are available and based on that it provides the result right that's one of the generative ai sort of capability that is going in the market now other areas wherein these tools will be helpful right so it is not about that ai is going to replace it will replace few things and functions and it could replace some of the jobs as well but wherever there is a technical capability capability required thinking capability required right it can provide you a bits and pieces in terms of code snippets but then will will it be able to you know straight away get into the application whatever is being developed understand everything understand whatever requirements are there then start coding based on those requirements then integrate those modules right or write uh, start writing the test cases based on a particular module and then straight away go ahead set up the environment start running the test cases that is not possible at, at least at the moment it is not possible and i don't see it happening even in the future as well or very near future right so there has to be very clear understanding now what my based on what i have seen till now or what my understanding in terms of technology is that yes technology is evolving and you will see things that will evolve over the period of time and there might be a possibility for example data entry sort of jobs right those might be reduced or they will have more efficiency in it added okay but if you pivot or if you basically in your job try to incorporate the ai skills then you are going to make more value add and you are also going to be more efficient in your jobs right so these platforms are not going to take your job they are going to make you especially in software testing they are going to make you more efficient all the use cases for example generating the code from uh, you know a particular say for example you just type in okay give me a uh, write me a code for reading a csv file okay in javascript or java that you can do in a, in these generative ai tools and it will give you a code snippet what will you what will you do with the code snippet you can use it to be more efficient and you should know basically what it has written it might not be 100% correct right because it is a trained model so that's where the, the ai is at the moment and in the software testing or development space it is basically a trained model which will output certain details and then it is human intelligence that will be required how you are going to utilize those snippets those test cases to make your work quick and more efficient right so at the moment with the current market scenario with the current level of intelligence that is there in the platforms that are available i don't see that software testing jobs are going anywhere or even not about just software testing other jobs are also so not being only the redundant jobs wherein there is very set specific of input and output sort of things those definitely get replaced and these those have been replaced in past as well right for example those in in the industry in the assembly line right so there are mechanical robots that have replaced humans but does that mean that humans are not required at all in assembly line they are definitely required so people have chosen a different path if say for example there is something something very redundant uh, something uh, repetitive that that is there right something is in repetition or you know very fixed set of input and output that's where these tools can go ahead and replace those sort of jobs but not the jobs wherein intelligence is required wherein their thinking is required wherein the, the holistic approach of thought process is required right and software testing is all about holistic approach thought process thinking applying your capabilities understanding requirement writing the test cases right so in writing the test cases you can get the help from chat gpt but then you have to set set up the environment right you have to basically understand what exactly you are doing you have to understand the integrated environment execution all of that is not possible with the ai tools in the current situation and even in the future the intelligence human intelligence cannot be replaced with the ai tool so be sure this is my personal opinion that software testing jobs are not getting replaced there will be 
three possibilities wherein AI tools will provide you help to make you more efficient. Okay, so that's all about this video. I hope this information was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.